Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, one of my favorite plugins for the Divi theme, Divi Supreme Modules, has just released a new module and that brings their total up to about 49. Divi Supreme comes in two flavors. There's a free version and a pro version and you can check it out from my link below this video. I believe this module today is just available in the pro version and it's an image blob shape module where you can create these blob type images here with overlays and you can hover over them and have different things happening. And there's a nice little feature to put on your site there. Really easy to do. I'll show you how to build one quickly. I just tried it out over here and it is extremely easy. So first thing I'm going to do is enable my visual builder. And let's just put a new module in over here. And let's roll down. All the light gray ones are the standard ones you get with the Divi theme. There's plenty to build just about any site. Um, but when you add the Supreme modules, it really does put the theme on steroids. Here's our Supreme blob shape image. If I move this over here, as you can see, it puts a placeholder in and a bit of dummy text in there. You can add your image. It's Sydney Opera House there. As you can see, it's got a bit of text in there. You've got several different blob styles to choose from here. I'll just leave it on the default, but you can go through, check those out, different shapes and sort of layouts. Overlay content. Well, the overlay is overlay content is your title and description here. So if we go into there, we've got uh, Sydney right there. Sydney, Australia, and you put whatever description you want in there. As you can see, the description pops up. And in a minute, that's slightly difficult to read there with that busy background going on. We can put an overlay on to fix that in a moment. Now, if you just want to show the content on hover, flip this little switch right here. And as you can see, it's just going to show it on hover there. If you want to link the module, it's your usual Divi theme link options here. Put your link in here and the module will take your visitors wherever you want to take them. Usual best practice, if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off site, pop it in a new tab so your site stays open. If you want to give it a background, which will be behind that image, you can do so there. For instance, put a little blue background in if you wanted to there. But I really don't want a background in this. Let's move on to our design and it's very simple. Now here's the blob image settings itself. Size wise, you can have it cover so it's doing the whole blob size itself or there's an initial option where it just covers the size of the actual module itself and it doesn't show the whole blob but you can get some nice images there but I quite like the cover for this version you can choose a blob image height here make it bigger or smaller as you can see as you're changing this it sort of morphs the shape as well and it's always going to be that sort of blob or egg type shape. So that's a nice little feature right there. And as with all Divi modules, if you don't like what you've done, simply select it, delete it, and it'll go back to the default for you. Moving on down, you can give it box shadow like any other module if you want to. That's quite nice because it goes around the rounded corners rather than the actual square corners you get when I put that background on. Now here's an overlay. Like I was saying, that text is slightly difficult to read with that busy background there. So what we can do, go in there, flip the switch to overlay on. There's an overlay. Let's make mine black. If I'm gonna go in and just drag the opacity down so we can still see as much as that image as we want, but our actual text should be nicely legible. Perhaps a little less than that. There we go. We've still got seal the opera house nicely. But when you hover over that text is much more visible like that. Now you can style the overlay text itself here. And it's got all the regular features that you'd expect from a Divi module, such as fonts. <laughs> and I'm sure you know by now if you watch any of my other videos, Divi has got a huge amount of fonts. There really are hundreds of them, literally. Just go in here 
hover over whichever font and it'll show you an example of what it is. I'm going to leave mine on the default there. Oh, that's for fun. Let's change it to Anton for the heading. As you can see, it's changed that font there. And you can do exactly the same for the description. And you've got custom spacing as well. If you want to push this down, for instance, we could add a bit more padding for our description just to squash it in a little bit more. Top and bottom, I'll leave that as is. I'll just add a bit more left and right and it'll squash it in just a little bit. Let's make that 30 picks. Hit the chain, it'll do both sides. That sort of squashed it in a bit there. Sizing all the usual Divi features here. So that's pretty much it with this little module. And like I say, that's a nice little feature to have on your site. Let's just save our changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And exit the visual builder. And there we have it. We've got two little blob images there. This first one's got no overlay on it because it's a nice dark background and dark sort of image in that one. And here's the one that we've just done here with a little dark overlay so that our writing is more visible. So there you go. There is module number 49 from Divi Supreme modules. Like I say, Divi Supreme is absolutely awesome. You can check it out from my link below the video. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.